All right, guys, on to the next project. This one's a doozy. So we've got this whole wall. Needs to be taken out. It is load bearing, so you will get to see how to do that. And then we are redoing the whole kitchen. All right. First things first, let's make a barrier so we can keep this area separate from the clean side. Let's get to it. Just a quick PSA. I'm doing demo here, taking all this stuff out. HGTV is going to make you think that this is what you need because they have a host that goes and smashes down everything with a sledgehammer. And what you don't see is a crew of probably 20 guys coming up and actually doing the real cleanup and proper demo afterwards. When you're demoing, it's not just about busting everything up. You've got electrical in the walls. You could have plumbing uh, you, with the vent lines. There's a whole lot of stuff that could be behind this wall that you don't know about. So you don't just want to go busting up the wall with a sledgehammer. Also, you know, remember this is a load bearing wall. The last thing I want to do is be smashing things out of there. That's going to uh, compromise the integrity of this wall until I get it shirred up. My preference for demo is a well relatively surgical approach um, is this little crowbar here and a hammer and I can do probably 95% of the demo I need to do with these two tools okay so just keep that in mind uh, demo should be more of a procedural approach where you're kind of taking pieces off piece by piece um, use the sledgehammer if you get to something that won't move and you need to get it out of the way then yeah you can use a sledgehammer but you shouldn't just be going like crazy swinging sledgehammers everywhere and wreaking havoc on your wall in your house um, take it one step at a time and use caution when you're demoing that's something they don't mention on any of these HDTV shows that you need to know also this should go without saying I wear gloves always safety glasses. I always wear ear protection too. And I used to wear that uh, RZ mask, worked okay, but I've actually gone a step further, got one of these things. It's really nice, just hangs on your neck. Come here and it locks in place. Just like that. And that's just because I have no idea what's in these walls anything I don't want to be breathing in, I always go an extra step and wear one of these. So they make them now, I'll link this in the description. These are now like, I don't know, 20, 30, 40 bucks uh, for one of these. And they're very comfortable. Um, yeah, they get annoying after a few hours of wearing them, but it's easy just to unlatch it and give yourself a break from wearing this. But always best to be safe.
All right, guys, that's the end of day one for demo. And that's it. I always like to clean up my workspace at the end of the day just so it doesn't get too messy accumulating over several days. And then be ready for the next day. Demolition day two. Let's get started. All right, you guys, the demo is done. As you can see here behind me, we've got the whole wall cleaned out. Got all of the old ducting taken out. We're just left with the piece here, which we'll take out when we do the kitchen. Um, some other things is still got some electrical here, down here for outlets and light switches. And then this light, these are all turned off so they're not live um i'm gonna move all this electrical once i open up the ceiling to put the beam in so some things to look forward to from here um this is going to be the end of this video here and then we're going to show you how to get the beam up in the ceiling uh, so stay tuned for that uh, I probably won't show you how I do, you know, moving all the electrical and stuff, but that's something you need to consider. If you're going to move a wall, it's got other things inside of it. So you've got to be, uh, you know, cognizant of what is in that wall so that you can move those things as well and put them safely somewhere else or take them out completely uh, so that you're not dealing with live wires just strewn about throughout your attic. All right, you guys. So stay tuned for the next video. Um, this project is going along nicely. I appreciate all your support.